Hi, it's Jared here, and this is a quick video on how to use MetaTrader. It's just going to be a bit of a brief overview, uh, and I will have some other videos that will cover more specifics, but I just want you to know, for the most part, how to get around on MetaTrader. So once MetaTrader is open, you just find the icon on your desktop, and you can double-click on it, and it opens right up. You don't need to log into anything. You don't need to add any passwords or anything once you've opened your demo account, and uh, you can see the video on how to open up a demo account as well uh, on my page. Um, but this is what it will look like once it's open. Now, my charts look a little bit different because I've changed some colors and I've added a few moving averages and a couple of indicators. Don't need to worry about that, but if you do want to change any colors or anything in the background, you just right click anywhere in the screen, right click and go to properties and properties will give you some options to customize your charts. You can see my backgrounds light gray and the foreground and the color of the uh, uh, the, the, the color of my candlesticks and so on, just kind of how everything is set up there. So uh, you, you can change anything you want there, and once you do change it, just click OK. Now to save any changes that you've done to your, uh, to your charge, to the background, or anything like that, you just go to Save Template, and you can call it anything you want. Uh, my charts, uh, anything like that, and then you would just click Save, and that will save your template. A little bit of a tangent there. That's uh, probably a little less important, but uh, uh, let's get to the functions of MetaTrader itself. First off, what we want to do is just make sure that we know where to focus your attention. It's going to be down here quite a bit on uh, looking to see where uh, the, the different currency pairs are. So if you just click down here, you can see that I have the Euro dollar, Pound dollar, Euro yen, and so on. And I have a whole bunch of currency pairs down here that I'm looking at. And, uh, and so you just click back and forth on these currency pairs. Uh, uh, using these tabs below. Once you're on a designated currency pair, so for example I'm on the Australian dollar, US dollar, you can click around up here uh, and this will give you the different timetables. So the one minute or the M1 chart, uh, five minute, 15 minute, 30 minute, one hour, four hour, day, week, month. So any chart that you're on down here, uh, once again I've added a few extra charts which is why I have so many tabs down here, but any chart that you're on, uh, once you are on the chart you can click back and forth between different time frames by using these buttons up here. Now the other focus that you're going to have the most of is going to be just on these two tabs down here. This is called your terminal, and uh, the, these two tabs down here will show you trade, shows you your live, any live trades that you have, and I'm going to show you a little bit more on that in just a moment, and then account history will show you any closed trades that you have have taken um, and, and that are now closed and no longer running. So account history and trade, you don't really ever need to worry about these other tabs. There, there's a little bit of news in there, and you can see some news and alerts and so on and so forth, but really the most important is going to be your trade and your account history, tabs on the currency pairs, and then once you're on your currency pair, getting back and forth from uh, uh, one time frame to the other. Now the next question that I get quite a bit of is how to open a new order. And so what you want to do is just go to this new order button. And remember this is the currency market, so we just uh, we, we say buy or sell instead of long or short, but it all means the same thing. Uh, so if I want to get into a buy trade on this Australian dollar, I click on new order, this box comes up, and I click on the buy button. Once I do, uh, you can just click on OK. This is now confirmed that I'm in the trade. Click OK. And now in my trade tab down here, you can see that I've got a live trade running. Now, once this trade is running and kind of going, um, we want to set some stop losses and some take profits. We want to put some limits on here so that if, uh, if the market runs far enough for us, we can take some profit or against us, we can uh, uh, get out of it. So the best thing to do is just anywhere on this trade, right click and go to modify or delete. And modify is going to give us the option to set our stop loss. So if you look down here where my mouse is, this is the price that I entered, 103 uh, 28 and since this is a five digit broker I just leave off that last digit so 103.28 so if I want to put in a 20 pip stop loss and a 20 pip take profit I just type that in right here 1.03 um, 08 so that that's going to be my 20 pip stop loss and then here's my 20 pip take profit 1.03 48 and then I'm just going to click on this big button right here and that's going to modify 
Once again, just hit OK, and now I can see that in my stop loss and my take profit area, there's now numbers, and I can also see that on my trade. So here's my entry. It says buy with my order number, and then since I'm in a buy, uh, the red line above is where it's going to take me out with profit, and the red line below is where it would take me out with a loss if, uh, if the market goes against me. Once again, new order, buy or sell. It'll show up down here. Right click, go to modify. Put in your numbers, and this bar will highlight or light up down here. You click on that, and everything's in place. Now, what what happens if you want to close the trade before the order's over, uh, or before it hits your stop loss or take profit? Once again, right click, close order, big yellow button right there. Now, we're not going to want to sell out of the market or buy out of the market or whatever the case may be, whichever direction we're going. We're just going to want to close order. So just click on close right there and now we are out of the order and you can see that once again there's nothing down here in my live trade area and likewise you can see that it's now showing up in my account history now one common question that I get is sometimes people will uh, accidentally click out of that and they'll say well, where where's my my area where I can see my trades and so on it's this button right here if you put your mouse over for just a moment it'll say terminal and it's just that little square uh, white and, and blue looking thing you just click on that and it'll bring it right back you can also go to insert or excuse me uh, view and uh, you can bring it up through uh, this right here which is your terminal or control T so under view you can see uh, that there's a couple of different options you can also open up your market watch which is this guy has all your currency pairs over here um, if you want to add a new chart from your market watch you can just go to any pair and right click and go to chart window that's one way to add a currency pair or you can go to this little button right here which is new chart and you can just pick any pair up there and anything you click on will come up as this new chart right here I usually don't have my market watch window open because I don't find that I need it much I just try to focus on the um, um, terminal down here my chart tabs my um, uh, my, my, my period uh, uh, buttons here and and that's pretty much where the, the majority of your uh, attention should be focused uh, this is a demo account when your demo accounts expire just real quick on how to do that you can go right here to open an account and just click OK I agree and next 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 and that will uh, refresh your demo account once it expires remember file open account and then uh, next 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 and that will refresh your demo account so best of luck guys this is how to use MetaTrader if you have any questions uh, just post a comment on the page thanks a bunch